What is up, guys? This is fucking crazy. I gotta, you know, start this video ASAP, Rocky, because this video literally just broke the internet. It broke the fucking internet. So, MGK made a diss track for Eminem and it called Rap Double. And, like, Everybody's like, yo, like, MGK bodied him, whatever, and I was listening to it, I'm like, damn, MGK's taking some crazy-ass shots at him, man, like, Eminem's just gonna sit there and, like, just take that shit, I mean, I know Eminem, like, he, he's not about that, that work, right, so, um, he's all about, like, you know, shutting that shit down, so, I was, I was waiting for a reaction from him, or, like, a, some sort of diss track or whatever, but this particular diss track, it's Kill Shot, it literally has, the, the, um, the picture is... MGK's face with a target, a sniper rifle target around his face. So we're gonna just go through and see how badly Eminem goes in on MGK. And like so far on my Facebook feed, my friends are like, whoa, what the fuck? And like, you know, everybody everywhere is like, what the fuck? This was dropped four hours ago and has six million views. So let's get into this. If you guys haven't already, make sure you like, comment, subscribe for more awesome content from your boy. Make sure that you, uh, you know, turn on your post notifications too. And then we're going to get into this. Boom. You sound like a bitch, bitch. Shut the fuck up. Your fans become your haters. You done? Here to I am. Right. Yelling at the mic. We are beer. Doing this one. Oh shit, man. I already, I already feel it, man. Uh, R.I.P. MGK. I saw a comment in the last video I did of Eminem because uh, his lucky, his lucky day, or yeah, I think it's like lucky day or lucky something. I just, I literally just reacted to it. But anyways, um, in the comment section, they're like, yo, like. Anybody here come from the uh, kill shot audio after like, you know, he fucking killed MGK and the comment section. So I'm feeling like he's going to be talking about everybody on this track, man. Rihanna just hit me on a text. Last night I left Tinkies on a neck. Wait, you just dissed me, I'm perplexed. Insult me in a line, compliment me on the next day. I'm, I'm really sorry you want me to have a heart attack. Let's watch an eight mile on my Nauta track. Really? Oh shit, the build up's getting crazy, yo. <laughs> Uh, I forgot to call you by back. the way, so MGK was fooling around with Rihanna. Was he fooling around with Rihanna? Was that a shot at him about Rihanna? Because I don't know what, what's going on with that whole thing, man. Like that's crazy. Here's that autograph for your daughter. I wrote it on the starter cap. Stand, stand, son. Listen, man, dad isn't mad, but how you gonna name yourself after a damn gun and have a man bun? <laughs> He said, how are you going to name yourself after a gun and have a man bun? Oh, yo. Already, man. And I'm pretty sure that's the tip of the iceberg of shit he has for me. Eyes open, undeniable. Supply and smoke. Got the fire stoke. Say you got me in a scope, but you raised me. I say we'll call it in a scope, and you crazy. Your reply got the crowd yelling, whoa. So before you die, let's see who can tell Petty who with your corny lines. Swim your own. Yeah, actually, I'm not going to lie. Eminem Dizzy, he's making a, a very valid point. Like... It, it, MGK's opening line was, uh, this fucking beard's weird. Like, come on, man. If you're writing music and you, that's a cringy part of a line, like a, a cringy verse. This fucking beard's weird. Like, what? Are we in elementary school, bro? Like, I mean, MVO, he, he, he made a good point. <laughs> corny lines, man. There were some corny ass lines in his diss that I did notice. I didn't say anything about it, but I did notice it. And I'm like, Mm. So I was cringing a little bit at first, but then MGK picked up towards the like the middle of his track, and then boom! And I'm like, all right, cool. Damn, man! Like, yeah, let's get into it. I'm Kelly, ooh, but I'm 45, and I'm still out selling you. By 29, I had three albums and it blew. Now let's talk about something I don't really do: going with someone's daughter's mouth, stealing food. But you're a fucking molehill. Now I'ma make a mountain out of you. Hotel, like I'm like you put the chrome barrel to my bone marrow, gonna. Oh shit, he's about to go in, bruh. Like, he's going in now, but like, he's about to dig deep. <laughs> MGK's digging his own grave right now, pretty much, man. Wait a bow and arrow, say you'll run up on me like a phone bill, spraying lead, playing dead. That's the only time you hold still. Are you eating cereal or oatmeal? What the fuck's in the bowl, milk? Bruh! <laughs> That's what I was saying in my video, yo. I was like, what the fuck is he eating, bro? Like, I normally eat oatmeal in those little bowls and shit. I'm like, is he eating oatmeal or cereal as he's rapping and shit? Like, whatever it is, man, the boy, like, <laughs> he got to eat. Like, I mean, 
Eminem a little, uh, not Eminem, MGK's a little skinny, bro. Like, MGK in his video was like walking around, rapping and shit, eating something. I'm like, does that oatmeal, bro? Like, what the fuck? <laughs> and he said exactly what I was thinking. Oh, shit. These are Cheerios, because I'm taking a shit in them Kellyani reading material. Dictionary. Yo, Slim, your last four albums suck. Go back to recovery. Oh, shoot, that was three albums ago. What do you know? Oops. Know your facts before you come at me, little goof. Luxury. Oh, you broke, bitch. Yeah, I had enough money in O2 to burn it in front of you. Oh, fuck, bro. I feel like the... <laughs> He's, he's not playing with this dude. He might actually throw some hands after this track, too, man. Like, oh, the hostility. <laughs> younger me, no, you don't whack me. It's funny, but so true. I'd rather be 80 year old me than 20 year old you. 80 year old. He said he'd rather be 80 year old me than 20 year old you. That's crazy, man. Uh, he's really shitting on him right now. And because MGK was basically saying that he's basically the new Eminem, he's like the better version of Eminem at that age. And Eminem's like, the fuck? Hell no, you're not. Like, let me pipe that down real quick. Just because I haven't been in the scene for a minute doesn't mean I'm not, you know, more legit than you are. You know, feel me? Like, that's crazy. Especially, like, after all the shit, the bullshit that's been going on and stuff. That's crazy. So I'm getting old age, still can fill the whole page with a 10 year old's rage. Got more fans than you in your own city, low kitty, go play. Feel like I'm babysitting Lil Tay. Got the Diddy okay. Yo, he just called him Lil Tay. <laughs> Bruh, yo, he's that. no chill, no chill. Actually, all chill went out the window once MGK dropped that diss track, though, man. I'm like, uh, you sure you want to do that, bruh? I mean, Eminem, Eminem does not play games. Now, I'm not going to go out here and say he's the best rapper on the entire planet, but I will say he will stand his fucking ground. If people talk shit about him, he's not about to just, oh, okay, pull a Drake and just sit there and like, mm, okay, well, I mean... I would body you, but I'll do it later. Nah, he'll come for your neck. Like, he'll push it to you real quick, man. Like, shit. Oh, damn. He was talking about, uh... I Pretty sure he's talking about his daughter, bro. Like, I, I, I'm telling you, I feel like that beat, this beef has something to do with MGK and Eminem's daughter. Like, some, like I, I forgot what happened, bro. I, I, I like, I, I kind of know what happened, but the details for me are so loose. I don't want to just throw anything out there. So if you guys actually know what happened, go ahead and comment in the comment section down below and educate your boy. <laughs> Ooh, oh yeah yo so here's another thing so i watched an, an, an interview with eminem i'm pretty sure everybody saw it right so uh he was saying after he saw that this right that mgk made he's like you know what i want to fucking shut his shit down but I don't want to do it at the same time because I would be giving him more clout. Like, I would be making him relevant. He's not relevant right now. He was right. So he wasn't relevant. But if I, if I like, make a diss track to MGK, I'm putting him on the map again. And people, and he'll be on everybody's radar. He'll be legit, blah, blah, blah. And I'm not even that big right now. I mean, like, he's, he knows he's big, but he's not in the mainstream media, like, you know, booming and stuff, before this whole thing happened, I mean, before he dropped Kamikaze, before these diss tracks, people really weren't thinking about Eminem right now, because a bunch of other things have been happening in the celebrity world, and music world, and music industry, but he's like, yo, if I, like, um, after I dropped that album, blah, 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 whatever, I mean, like, if everybody knows who Eminem is, everybody listens to his music, so if he drops anything, everybody's gonna listen to it, but he's like, yo, if I literally make any song dedicated to this dude, no matter how much I go in on this guy, he's going to get a big-ass fan base because that's just how the world is, right? He doesn't want to give this dude clout, but at the same time, he's not going to let anybody talk about him like that or his family. So he's like, man, mm, I might have to do it. You might see something from me in, in, in the near future. And here we are, listening to this beautiful track, okay? because <laughs> I said his goddamn name. Now I got a cop that aim. Yeah, bitch, pop champagne to this. It's your moment. This is it, as big as you're gonna get, so enjoy it. Eddie. See, I just said that. I just told you, like, Eminem bringing him up is gonna give him mad clout. He's like, this is as big as you're gonna get, so enjoy it. Like, 
Nobody else is going to talk to you after I'm done or talk about you after I'm done. Honestly, if MGK does blow up a good business move, I mean, I'm just saying, hop on a track with 6ix9ine, okay? Like, 6ix9ine was even joking about, like, making a diss track for Eminem. I know he wasn't he wasn't serious about it, but MGK could, look, like, could high-key, like, collaborate with 6ix9ine and become relevant again, you know? I mean, 6ix9ine, like, as a feature on anybody's track, has added uh, clout to anybody who's been on his track, like... Even if they already had cloud, so craziness, craziness, man. A career to destroy it. Lethal injection, go to sleep six feet deep. I give you a beat for the effort, but if I was three foot eleven, you'd look up to me, and for the record, you would suck a dick to fucking be me for a second. Oh shit! He said you suck a dick to be me for a second. Yo, I'm telling you, MGK is probably sitting in his room. Uh, uh, bro, you, he's probably trying to come up with something to be honest, like to come back at him with. Give up, man. Give up. I'm pretty sure Eminem right now is holding back too. Like, that's the crazy thing. If he literally, I don't think I've ever seen him single handedly target one person. One person. Dedicate an entire song to one person and openly say, boom. Like, you have their face on an album, bruh. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> yeah, you fucked up big time, yo. If you come back with anything, you might just be body bagged and everybody will be attending your funeral. <laughs> Ah, shit, that fucking sucks. <laughs> Click a ball, it's like to get on my channel. Give your life to be a solidified. This motherfucking shit is like Rambo when he's out of bullets. So we're good as a fucking machine gun when it's out of ammo. Had enough of this tatted up mumble rapper. How the fuck can him and I battle? They'll have to fuck him in my flannel. I'll give him my sandals because he knows as long as I'm shady, he's going to have to live in my shadow. Ooh, so give him my sandals. He's, he knows as long as I'm shady, he's going to have to live in my sandals. That's fucking crazy, bro. <laughs> Dusting, let it fall from my offspring Like a gun barrel, bitch, get off me You dance around it like a sombrero We can all see you're fucking salty Cause young Gerald's balls deep inside a halsey Your red sweater, your black leather You dress better, I rap better you dress better, I rap better. Yo, that's crazy I think he's he's po pointing out the priorities right now in their beef Like, he's uh, like picking him apart Right now, this is MGK I mean, he's not lying right now. Like, he has literally... Everybody's literally looking at MGK like, Bruh, what did you do, man? Like, what the fuck? What did you do? <laughs> oh, shit. Oh shit. He's like, bruh, like you can't even like if you're gonna diss me, at least diss me with some respect, man. Don't use that whack ass auto tune. That's crazy. <laughs> Need to get the cock about it before we can even talk about it. Talk about it. I'm sick of your blonde hair and earrings. Cause you look in the mirror and think that you Marshall Mathers. Marshall Mathers. Don't mean you are and you're not about it. So just leave my dick in your mouth and keep my daughter out of <laughs> you. said, oh. We need to replay that line real quick. We need to replay that line real quick. Mathers. Don't mean you are and you're not about it. So just leave my dick in your mouth and keep my daughter out of you. He said, just keep my dick in your mouth. And keep my daughter out it. Yeah, it's a rap, bro. Give up. <laughs> Give up. <laughs> know when to quit. Know when to quit. Know the signs. Know the signs. If you see the signs, say something. Oh my god. Oh my fucking god, bro. You fucking. Oh. And I'm just playing, Diddy. You know I love you. Damn. That's crazy. That is fucking crazy. Well, guys, like, what are your thoughts, man? That was some wild ass shit. I'm not gonna lie, wild ass shit. Um, there was a lot that happened in that video, man. Not even video in the song. Like, MGK basically got uh, m oh man, got fucking body bagged. Like, he <laughs> basically Eminem flew over with like his little plane and dropped a nuclear bomb. And 
annihilated him. So like, l like, let me know what you think in the comment section. What was your favorite bar? Um, do you think MG MGK should respond, or do you think he should give up? And like, we can call it like, hey, we could chalk this up as a W for Eminem. And, you know, whatever. There's a lot of questions I got, man. Answer those shits in the comments down below. If you guys you got your own questions, ask your own questions as well. And, you know, we'll have a discussion in the comments section. Thank you so much for watching. And until next time, peace.